They're obviously a very good team. They're very young. I literally felt that in third. It is complaining, you know. When we start well at home, we generally go pretty well. Because I'm going to this game across the road over at Amy Park, I get to feel all those bloody emotions from yesterday again when Geelong lost. Ah, lovely. Guess I gotta tell you a little so you can know me better. I fire one six, cold that eye around with. Yeah, that side don't switch. Yeah, this how I live. Hey, guys, it going? So today on Pick Up Sport, we are here at Amy Park in Melbourne for an insane, massive semi final clash between the Melbourne Storm and the Parramatta Eels. I just don't feel like the Storm really care too much about the specific matchup. They just care about getting back into the winner's circle. Because last week, the Storm lost the Raiders right here after the Storm obviously topped the table this year. They came first, but they came against the Raiders, who are their bogey team, which meant the Raiders go through to next week. They're already in the prelims, and the Storm are now playing the Eels in a knockout, do or die, elimination final here at Amy Park. On the other hand, we were obviously at the game at Bankway Stadium last week as the Parramatta Eels took down the Brisbane Broncos 58-0. They're gonna win, they're gonna plug the bunk house. When these teams play so far this season, the Storm actually came through absolutely massively. It was a 64 to 10 result. And the, the thing is, though, is uh, the Eels, they're very inconsistent. One week they can get blown out 64 10, and one week they can win 58 nil, as we just saw last week. You can never really take the results with the Eels too, uh, too, too much. You can't really Hello, tip them too highly because they literally are the definition of an inconsistent team. But they are here, they are in the semi final, and what type of consistency are we going to see today? As you can see, I will be getting behind the Melbourne Storm boys today. I'll be getting behind my boys. Suliasi Bunavalu, you've got to love the Fijian blood, got to love the Fijian brother's son, and obviously I'm here behind Justin Olam as well. I love how the Melbourne Storm kind of got this, I don't know what you call it, it's not exactly Islander, but they've got a lot of the different nations in their team, and it's really awesome to see. It's really awesome to see all the Papua New Guineans getting behind this team, as well as Justin Olam, and obviously Suliasi Bunavalu, you've got to love Suliasi Bunavalu. But let's stop talking out here, guys, and let's head to the stadium. I know everyone thinks the Storm are going to win by a shit ton, and you know, they probably should, but it's raining, we've just seen a massive shot across the road, with Collingwood losing to GWS and the Eels, like I just said, could be very inconsistent and could really put it on today. They really could put it on compared to their 64 10 drubbing earlier in the season. So let's go in there, let's go have some fun, let's go soak up the atmosphere for the first time. The fireworks going on. I know the Storm fans don't like that after last week. Well, Raiders fans don't like that. Raiders don't like that after last week. The main thing is, guys, don't ever forget it. Leave your passion. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Believe in yourself and damn well do it. Well, let's go in there and come on, the Storm. Always, obviously, uh, Storm fans tonight? Uh, of course. I'm neutral. Neutral, yeah. Play purple. Play purple, yeah. That, I think you should get something checked out there. <laughs> obviously, boys, uh, sure come out of coming this game with a big win, but the Storm, obviously, they're coming with a loss. However, the Storm did top of the table. What do we think of this nice game? I think uh, the Timos is kicking game. You got a bone uh, to get to the corner, he's kick high. Great playmaker. Uh, they probably won't win uh, the, uh, the 58 to 0, but definitely Eels. Uh, by, oh, I'm not sure, but... I don't know, man, I think, it's, I think it's difficult to say the Eels can win this. Like, I know they're coming in on a massive, massive, massive win, but they are very inconsistent. The Storm, uh, they, I doubt they're going to go out in straight sets. I think there would have been a much better crowd had Mercer not been the 
also this bread, this bread is with us obviously a really good crowd. Like, they're still a decent crowd, you obviously have to look at the final, no matter what you're going to get. They're a decent crowd to work. I think the Cavan store tonight is really locking up Mike Sibo. Mike Sibo obviously, the, the big flying food team have had an absolutely annihilation of the blow. Like, he is just an insanely big guy. And um, it's, it's not fun to take him down. But obviously, with Storm, they can definitely do that. They're the best type of competition for a reason. You know, they're well. Oh, no, they lost that ball. That's a lost ball. Go on, Ed. Go on, Ed. Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, Lava. Oh, is oh. oh, that right? Are they going to give that ball? I think they're going to give that. I think that's a try. I think that's a try. I shot a calf. Josh had a car flying down the wing band. That's scary, so. Yeah, he gets a try. I thought we were looking at if he got tackled. I was like, the rest, the, the VRF would be able to check him for that. That, that. The VRF would be able to check that. That's the score, score, bird. Yeah! Let's go, Melbourne! Home manager, no one. So, it's not like it's been absolutely surreal. 
they're up 26 nil, but it's not being special. They miss a lot of kicks, they miss a lot of opportunities. Now the Roosters will put them away. The Roosters will put them away if they play like this next week. It's not being a fantastic victory here, really. It's a good, solid win. But there's, been a, uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. Put it that way, a lot of room for improvement. I'm here with me, fellow in the paint house. Mate's uh, 32 nil, I think it was, so how are you feeling? Not good. Um, I've come along, mate, so it would have been good to see some points, but this is my first time at Amy Park. I don't know if you've been here before, but it's a good atmosphere, so I'm feeling annoyed. Uh, I don't think we turned up, but seeing Kevin Smith in the bin, and there were moments where they played their best. I think they were around in a good game, but well, the Storm way too good. Massive three for the final next week. I tell you what, man. Like Parramatta, it's just the, it's just all that inconsistency. You know, the consistency with the Eels. It's just like one week they win 58 nil, and the next week they lose 32 nil. The worst part about it is this is away from home. If you leave Bankwest, if you leave Sydney, it's down to the Parramatta's going to win. And it's been like that for years. Yeah. It would have been nice to get some own life revenge, but it wasn't our night tonight. Hey, how are you feeling? That was a big win. Yeah, it's a great win. Um, good to be back in the winter. Um, yeah, mate, it's been great, eh? Like, just so obviously it's a new, new feel of playing finals footy. Um, yeah, thanks, mate. But, <laughs> thanks, mate. It's an awesome experience. I'm just, like, not taking it for granted, just sort of playing week by week and sort of trying to learn yeah. day by day, such as my Well, Craig Bellamy obviously must be uh, phenomenal to work on, though. Yeah, oh, it's great, you know, and uh, all the assistant coach and everything. They've got, a, they've got a great culture here, and um, it, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's just sort of, it, it, it's been more so just come in and sort of, and sort of learn the ways and earn the stripes a bit, but um, no, it's good, it's good to see it's, 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 it's showing a bit of faith in me as well, you know, and sort of put me in that 17, especially when it comes to crunch time, so it's, it's yeah, awesome yeah. that. Now obviously this week, 32 nil last week was a bit of a, a bit of a shock. And obviously you got back into the system now and you've really gotten that confidence. What do you think about next week? Yeah, next week, I mean, every every week's a grand final for us. So, yeah. um, I mean, next week it doesn't get much harder, you know, and everyone's playing as if it's our last game and Roosters, you know, and, and away. It's going to be, it's going to be a, hard, a hard draw and, um, oh mate, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of give, give it 100 and, you know, we're, we're not going to go out without a swing, you know. And what do you think is the, the main thing you guys need to improve on going into that big game? Um, I, I think just, just completing, you know, and, and just sort of knowing us and, and starting well and, um, I think tonight we started well and it sort of flowed throughout the whole 80 minutes, you know, and I think that's where last week we probably struggled a bit and then sort of struggled getting back in the game, got out in booze and areas and that, so I think if we just start well and sort of, yeah, just get our, just get our processes, processes early in, in the game and like flow through the process. That's a huge win against Parramatta. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling pretty banged up, but uh, can just uh, recover tomorrow and get back on the horse. Obviously, next week, uh, big opponents, Sydney Roosters. Uh, how are you feeling about that one? Yeah, it's going to be a big game. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty hard to talk about that now. I'm pretty, um, <clears throat> like I said, pretty banged up, and yeah. just have to go home and rest, and we'll focus on that later. Hey, uh, how are you feeling about that one? Oh, yeah, it's pretty stoked with the result. Um, sort of anticipating my body to be a bit sore tomorrow, but uh, I'll go home now with a big sleep. <laughs> Obviously last week, uh, you know, it wasn't great, but this week, what was the main thing that you focused on to, to get such a heavy, you know, win against a team that got a big win last week? Uh, just start well, I think. I think we start well. When we start well at home, we generally go pretty well, so we um, we just need to do that, try and turn them away early and defend well, and just keep it in the middle, something pretty special that we did tonight. Now going into the Roosters, what do you think, uh, what do you think you guys are going to look to improve on? Well, but there's probably, when we come out in the second half, there's a few errors we made that um, if we make them against the Roosters, they're going to make us pay. So um, just more of a complete game, I think. Um, just making sure that we're playing 100% of the game rather than 80. I know we're up and um, it's sort of hard to keep your concentration, but uh, I guess it's going to be a pretty tight game next week and we're going to have to stay in for longer. Does the complacency kick in quite quick? Like, obviously, you know, you, you guys were up 22-0 uh, and you knew you had the game won, but do you feel like it, 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 it's at half time that you guys feel that or does it just kind of slowly creep in? No, I don't think it was too much complacency. I think we might have just got to be excited that yeah. uh, there's a few opportunities to throw the ball and 
we threw it and they defended really well and got up and we dropped it. So it was just sort of that stuff. So we'll, um, it's good that the opportunities are there, but we're just going to pick the right option. Yeah, no, it was good, good to uh, get the win over the Eels. Yeah. And, uh, and our focus now is next week. What was the, the main thing you guys uh, looked at from last week and had this week to get such a resounding victory? Oh, it was just a good start, you know. Um, that uh, last, uh, last try at the end, you know, we were focused more on our defensive so yeah, it will be the same actually. Mate, uh, obviously that's a, that's a massive win, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good, the boys are going to be a bit good there, we can have a tough ball, so it's good for the uh, team and the confidence at the next week. Honestly, when I watch you play, it's honestly like you just, you don't yeah. care if you're going to get injured or not, you just run straight at him and I love to see it. Obviously it must be a proud thing for you to represent, you know, Papua New Guinea as a whole as well. 100% uh, everyone about it. They're they're in the they are in our teams and they are at rugby league. You know, me growing up as well, so it's something I love to do and then when I get the chance, I wanted to make the most of it. Now obviously, uh, it, it, it wasn't easy, you know, it, it, it took a lot of effort to get into the NRL. What would be your advice to, to Papua New Guinea's back home to actually have a chance at, at making it? Probably um, be disciplined and then you know, work hard because Hard work, big talents, any day of the week, hard work is a good team. Hard work is key. Now obviously next week you go up against a big team like Sydney Roosters. What do you think about that one? They're obviously a very good team. They're very uh, powerful in attack and defence as well. But if we play our game, and if we're good, I don't think um, any team will beat us. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Enjoy yourself, eh? Thank good you. luck, eh? Take care. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. Obviously, one of the most enthralling of games, you know, it just wasn't. But the fact of the matter is that the Melbourne Storm won convincingly, 32 nil in the end, and despite the fact that it wasn't their best performance, they have a lot to improve on, they still won't finish it damn well, and, like, and they weren't their greatest. So the Roosters, I think they should be a little bit nervous. We all know it's going to be an absolutely ripper game next week. I'm not too sure if we're going to get that game, we're going to be the AFL Grand Final. We'll see how we go, but I will be able one of those. I could actually live stream the AFL Grand Final and then go the Melbourne Storm vs City Roosters game. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But stay tuned on the Big House on Instagram for what we're going to be doing. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, then what do you think we'll do with that? What are we doing? Go hit that subscribe button right there well now. While you're there, go ahead and hit that little ding a ling notification bell. Notification. Time we upload. Also, guys, and do not forget, we're going to be doing a lot of Rugby Union World Cup live streams. That has just started to start a couple of days ago now. We've missed a couple of days because we've been so flat out here in Melbourne. But it's going to be an absolutely river river tournament for the next two months, basically. So definitely have your notification bells on because we're going to be going absolutely crazy with content over the next two months. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.